Team the years now right now, so if you need some cheap Xbox or PSN codes, check out my sponsor, g 2 the link's down below in the description, and use the code RIG3 for 3% off. What is up guys, Riggers here, and today we're a nice little train trick video for you guys, so if you guys can enjoy this video, and if you do, make sure you smash the like button down below, and also if you're new around here, please subscribe. So at the minute, it's Team of the Year, and most people are trained with gold cards, and silver and bronze cards, they seem to have been forgotten, like there's barely anyone bidding on them, and you can actually get quite a few silver and bronze players pretty cheap through bidding. So just here I've got four examples. In one of the corners as well, I'll show you like the cheapest one in the market. So just here, picks up a button for 3,400. Can make about 1,000 coins on him roughly. For the next player, we've got Kelvin, the Porto version. There are two different versions for him. And for the Porto version, he sells for 6,000 coins. And I've picked him up for 4,800. So probably something for like 5,900 as there's quite a few at 6,000 in a second, but they do sometimes sell for that price, so I could potentially make an extra 100 if I wanted to. Yedlin just here, picks him up for 1,700, he sells for 2,700, and then for the final player, I've picked up a Wilson for 4,300, and for him, he sells for about 5,700, so for them four players, they are pretty good, but what I'm actually going to recommend to you guys is make a list of about, I'd say, 10 to 20 players who are silver, bronze, who sell for over 1,500 coins. Also, if you don't know many players that actually sell for over that, who are silver or bronze, uh, silver or bronze, put silver in the search just there, 1,500 in price search, load up foot bin, and for these players, if you think they actually sell for over that price, put them into foot bin, check the cheapest buy now price, and if they sell for over that, add them to a list. Also next to it, put like the cheapest buy now one, so you know how much to bid up to roughly. And then after that, search the players up individually on the market and basically just go through them and bid on them. Or you can add them to your transfer targets. For me personally, I prefer to put the players to my transfer targets as then I can just bid on a load of cards at once. And then once you've done that, lob all your bids on them gradually and try and get some of them. So just here are my transfer targets. Going to show you how much some of them actually gone for. So for this Wilson just here, it's gone 5,000 coins. So some can make 500 coins profit on that one. Same for that one. Gap Bank Bullahore goes about 5 cases, 500 profit there. Yedlin, 1,300, good deal for whoever got him. Wilson, 5,000 again, so guessing someone has gone through the Wilsons, bid 5,000 on a ton of them, because of with some of the players. You will know some people have gone through and bid the same amount on an absolute ton of them. Gap Bank Bullahore just here, 800 coins profit there for whoever got him. Now Wilson, that has gone for 6k, so can't get all the players cheap, but you can get a decent amount of them cheaper the second through bidding, so worth just going and bid on these cards. Another Yedl in there that someone's got cheap, Butland, that's around his normal price, so no profit there, that's also his buy now price that he's gone for. And another good price for Yedlin, Yedlin as well actually, he's actually been one of the players who I found easiest to pick up, like barely anyone bids on him, so definitely recommend trying to get some bids on him. For the other players just here, this is actually skip over to the next page, because I've got a few on this page, so Gabby Agbon Lahore picks one up for 3,400, I can make 1,600 coins profit on him. So, um, yeah, it's pretty easy to make profit the second with bronze and silver players because people just seem to have forgotten about them during Team of the Year. So, over the next few days, until Team of the Year ends, it could be pretty good to trade bronze and silver players because there's a lot of profit in them. So, definitely recommend it. You can probably make like 1k a minute because of over 10 minutes, you can add the players to your watch list, lob a ton of bids down, and probably make about 10k over the 10 minutes. So, Definitely recommend trying this out because you can make a ton of profit like with a low budget. So see you guys shooting riggers and hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please leave a like.